Hey you guys, um, I literally have tried to upload this video five times and something keeps like, I don't know what in the world is going on. I don't want to be rash with my mouth. I don't want to say it's the enemy. Like I don't want to speak, but I literally tried to record this five times and it messes up every time. So I'm going to just go right, right ahead and shoot. <laughs> okay. Um, First of all, I want to thank you guys for praying for me. Those of you who have been following me and um, just supporting me and just being a brother or sister and just keeping me in prayer. I really do appreciate your prayers and I'm fine. And um, these past couple months, since I've been here in Maryland, they have been blessing me entirely so much in my spirit. And in the natural, externally, I've been going through some horrible things with some, just, just had some bad encounters with Christians and but spiritually, you know, it has been working for my good and God just pretty much used both of these things to humble me. And it has definitely been humbling me a lot. And um, I have a message for y'all. I can't share everything with you that I've been going through because some stuff I'm just not led to right now. But um, the most important message I have to give you is that God loves you. And I literally, I want to tell you guys, I had an encounter with Christ recently i would say three weeks ago maybe a little bit more but it was very recent and god has finally manifested and revealed his love to me this is something that i've always struggled with something that i used to share in my videos and i told y'all i just never really knew god's love for me i never felt like or believed that god really loved me and in the midst of me teaching on my channel and sharing all these revelations that god has given me and inspiring y'all and teaching y'all and True, all these things did come from the Father, but because that one ingredient was missing, I never knew God's love for me. It leavened everything. It probably leavened my delivery to how I shared and presented, you know, what God had shared with me to y'all. Um, and it resulted in arrogance or pride or just very distasteful, very ungodly, very unchristlike. It doesn't mean that the revelation didn't come from God. It doesn't mean that it was not true. But love, <laughs> knowing God's love for you is so important in all things. It's like the basis for everything. It's the foundation of all things. And it's the one thing that pieces everything together. You know, just like 1 Corinthians says, you can have love and not love. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need love, but you can have knowledge and wisdom and all this intellect and, you know, all these spiritual gifts. But if you don't have love, then you just make a noise, you know, and those things are very important, you know, you can see all over the scriptures that God does tell us to get wisdom before you get anything, get wisdom, get knowledge, get understanding, you know, and I was just so big on those things and God indeed has blessed me with all of those things and I love to share it with y'all, you know, so you can eat of those, that good fruit as well, but I never truly knew or believed that God loved me and because I didn't, it hindered my ministry. And I know that y'all see that because I had a lot of people that would try to come to me and they would try to correct me on Brandy, you're a little too harsh. Brandy, you're prideful. Brandy, you're arrogant. Or Brandy, you're wounding God's sheep. And honestly, I was blinded. As much as I love the Father, and I did, I did in fact see those things. I would pray about it because I hated it so much, which only made it worse because my ministry, these things came from God, but it became a works righteousness type of thing because... I'm like, people are telling me this <laughs> and I already have a mentality in a heart that believes that God doesn't love me. But because I do have an intimate relationship with him, that part is missing. So I'm getting the revelation. I'm getting the knowledge. He's teaching me all this stuff. And then I have a ministry and, you know, I vlog and I teach other people this stuff. But the love is missing. The basis and the foundation isn't there. So you're not going to get God's love from me up until this point. <laughs> Up until this point, you were not going to get God's love from me. There may be some videos where you saw me being really nice and, you know, I come off loving. And, you know, a lot of my videos, it really is the Holy Spirit just speaking. It's not even me sometimes. And sometimes it is me. And I have a very distasteful, arrogant, just, just, just ungodly spirit in the videos. And for those of you who saw that, and instead of judging me and instead of, you know, belittling me and speaking against me, you saw that. And you prayed for God to reveal his love to me. You prayed for God to soften my heart. And you prayed for God to humble me. Thank you. <laughs> and even if you didn't, it's okay. Still, thank you. But um, 
I can't believe I've really tried to record this video like so many times and something keeps going wrong. Like I don't know if like, like I said, I don't want to be rash with my mouth, honey, but y'all need to hear this, okay? So I don't know how many videos you as individuals have watched of mine, but most of my ministry does consist of just personal vlogs about my personal life. Um, I teach according to what the Holy Spirit tells me and reveals to me with the body of Christ. You know, it may be confirmation or affirmation for y'all, or maybe, you know, you just didn't know. And I want to really keep y'all in the truth. <laughs> so whatever truth that God gives me, I share it with y'all. Um, a lot of prophetic dreams that God gives me, it doesn't matter if it's about the end times or Christ or what you would call the rapture, <laughs> you know, or Beyonce. I'm very popular with the Beyonce dream, so that's what I'm known for, the Obama dreams and everything. I pretty much just do everything on this channel, but a lot of my teachings, and I really, really have to, like, get this across. I don't know how I want to say it. I, I'm going to just say this much. Do not allow, I don't care if it's me or any other Christian, I don't care if they have a YouTube ministry or television ministry. I, I don't care where you're hearing it from. I don't even care if you're in church. You do not ever in your life let any other Christian make you feel condemned or make you feel worthless or make you feel guilty according to what they're saying righteousness is. Works right. Let me tell you what a works righteousness is. Up until this point, I have been in works righteousness and I was blinded. I have to share that with y'all because I'm responsible. I have 5,000 subscribers now and most of them are babes in Christ. And God has put in my spirit and he has convicted me. He has used this entire experience since I've been here in Maryland to humble me and to show me my error. And he didn't do it in an ugly way. He did it because I'm his daughter and because he loves me. And he chastens those who belongs to him. I couldn't see it when other people would come to me and say, Brandy, you're hurting God's sheep. I couldn't see it because I was blind, but now God has shown me and it took for him to use <laughs> the man he gave me a word of marriage with because I made him feel the same way I've been making y'all feel and that hurt me. So God knew that that was how he was going to have to get my attention because <laughs> I'm so passionate about marriage, right? Who better to use than the man that I'm, I, I give her a word of marriage with and I didn't see it. I made him feel belittled. I was so controlling. And this this is just me. This is me and my blindness. Meaning well. Meaning well as a Christian woman. Because I do love God. Controlling. Not allowing someone to develop and hear God's voice for themselves. And let the Holy Spirit teach them the same things that he's taught me. So I'm cramming it down this person's throat so they can get to my level. You know. And in my mind, I'm like, well, he's an error. Or they're an error. You know, like, God, I have to tell them this. And my like, God, you have to show them this. And, you know. It really comes off like an arrogant, prideful, controlling spirit. That's a Jezebel spirit. That's what I call it. That's, that is what it is. You know, even if it's not an actual Jezebel spirit, the characteristics and the nature of a woman, we tend to do things like that. And um, <laughs> it's just it's just so funny how God does things because the whole entire time I did not know that I was making him feel that way. And when he finally told me, because he attends church. And um, you already know what the Holy Spirit taught me when it comes to churches and everything. So I'm already programmed like, oh, no, 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 not church, <laughs> you know, and um, that situation happened. But anyway, long story short, he did end up telling me that um, me meaning well as a Christian, I ended up doing the complete opposite. I broke him down spiritually and because God would speak to me so much more. Or I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm quick to catch God's voice more clearly. You know, it was kind of like he couldn't hear God for himself. And, you know, I was hearing God for him. And, you know, he even said, you know, that it kind of made him feel like God favored me more than him. And um, always quick to tell him that he's wrong, not really listening to him and just not really giving God a chance to let him lead. And, you know, for God to teach him and for him to God, for him to hear God, you know, telling me the same things that God's been revealing to me. And I was still blind. <laughs> Even when he told me that, I'm like, well, you know what? I didn't mean to make you feel that way. It really broke my heart. You know, when he told me that uh, I pulled him out of church or he I discouraged him from going to church. And 
God, the Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> like the Holy Spirit just him telling me those things basically made me reflect on my ministry. Because I'm like, if I'm doing this to somebody I love and I care about, and it's different with y'all, because y'all see me on a screen. This is somebody who was up close and personal with me. And I'm hearing this stuff, the stuff that I've been hearing from several Christians about myself that hurt me because this is somebody I care about, somebody I love. I genuinely love what a godly love telling me you discouraged me or I looked up to you in certain areas and you killed that, <laughs> you know, like, you know, and instead of bringing that person closer to God, it's kind of like you, you hindered the relationship with God in so many different ways because of how you do things because of your arrogance or because of your pride. And I was blind to all of that. And um, the Holy Spirit just kind of started doing with me. But I did apologize to him. I did. And it broke my heart. I'm not going to lie to you because I don't, I would never intentionally do that to somebody. As much as I love God, I love to talk about God. I love to share God, you know, like it's never my intention to break somebody's spirit or lead them away from the Father. I always try to bring them closer. But I understand now that sometimes we can have good intentions, but the way I was doing things, and I mean, it, it, it goes, not just my relationship, but God used my relationship to show me how my ministry is affecting people. And um, this goes back to the encounter I had with Jesus three weeks ago. Um, you guys, everybody has like their, um, the secret place. When we talk to Jesus in the spirit, you know, everybody has their secret place. Some people is like the restroom or, you know, some people's is um, the car or just the shower. Mine is I have to be laying down to talk to Jesus. For me to just really get in my spiritual zone and talk to the Lord, I have to be laying down. And um, I didn't do anything different that night. Just just laying down and I would just kind of talk to God from my heart and from my spirit like I usually would. But Jesus chose to reveal and manifest himself to me in a way that he never has before. And it has changed my perspective. It's, it's actually changed a lot of things. And um, 